Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to create your own Organic Fusions membership account and how to purchase a ticket so that you can attend a social event with us. So first of all, you'll need to visit my website. So you can go to Google and type in Organic Fusions or you can type the URL, which is www.organicfusions.com.au and you'll come to this page. If you're using a computer, laptop, whatever, this is the view that you'll see. If you are on a mobile phone, the view will look something like this. So this little green box up in the top right hand corner is the menu options. So if you click on that, you'll see um, that you can learn about organic fusions here. You can see examples of what you'll find on the calendar, indoor experiences, outdoor adventures, games, fitness, health. Uh, you can access the blog. You can log in once you've got an account and you can choose this bottom option, which is join today which is what we are going to be doing in this video. If you would also like to learn a little bit more about Organic Fusions or to see me in a video, you can watch that video there. Feel free also to scroll down. There's some photos from previous events. There's some video testimonials here from people who have found success at events. And there's also some testimonials that you can read through here oh, and some bio of the days uh, when people create an account they type a little bit about themselves and I share their unique hobbies and stories with everyone else so that we can get an idea of the kinds of people who are in our community. So let's go back up to the top here and we're going to create an account by clicking on this pink button up in the top right hand corner. So we're going to join today. So that will take us to www.organicfusions.com.au forward slash join. So if we scroll down, you will see that there's five options available for becoming an Organic Fusions member. The first and most popular option is the $1 per month basic membership, which allows you to log in to the website at any time to have a look at the upcoming events. With the basic membership, you'll also be able to attend your first event for free if you go to a meet and greet event. You'll be able to take advantage of early bird discounts. And once you attend your first event, you'll be invited to the closed Facebook group. Now for the singles who have the time and are ready to come out and be more social with us, I would recommend registering uh, for the Dynamo Pass or the Livewire Pass. Now with the Dynamo Pass, it's $59 upfront for the month, which gives you calendar access so you can see full event details, plus you get $20 off every event that you attend during that month. So let's have a look at the numbers. If you were planning to attend eight events during that month, so let's say two events per week, as a basic member, you would be paying a $20 cover charge for each of those events. Because you get a $20 discount off every ticket that you purchase while your Dynamo Pass is active, this would end up being a saving of $100 for you. In other words, the Dynamo Pass allows you to be more social, to meet more people, to enjoy more activities without breaking the bank. Exactly the same with the Livewire Pass. It's only $197 up front for the six months. And again, you can go to as many events as you want for the six months and get the $20 discount off every event. So the fourth membership option is for Cosmopolitan Singles. It's perfect for the busy professional or singles who consider themselves cosmopolitan. Exclusive dinners take place one to two times per month in Melbourne CBD, which are only accessible to cosmopolitan singles. These exclusive dinners have strict age brackets, 30 to 42, 40 to 52, and 50 to 62. In addition to these dinners, cosmopolitan singles can access the full calendar of events. And just like the Dynamo and Livewire members, Cosmopolitan singles are entitled to $20 discounts off all events during their membership. Cosmopolitan membership is by invitation only. 
Please register your interest by clicking the purple button and filling out your details and I'll call you for a chat to see if this is the best option for you. Uh, and then the fifth option is the fun and social membership, which is for singles or non-singles. It doesn't matter what your relationship status is. If you pay the $59 per year, you'll have access to up to four social events per month where you can go along and make some friends uh, and just yeah, get out and have some fun doing activities around Melbourne and Geelong. So if we go with the basic account, which is the most common account, we just need to click on that button and this will take us to the page which gives us a little bit more information about the basic membership. So all of the benefits are listed here. It says that it's $1 per month and we need to fill in some details here. So I'll go ahead and start filling in some details. Uh, I do also plan to eventually cater for the non-straight members of our communities if you fit into this category. When we've got enough people in our community, I'll be able to dedicate events specifically to gay, lesbian, bi, trans, queer, um, to all of the people who are interested in socialising with singles who aren't necessarily straight. So this is where I get the bio of the day information from. So you can write something interesting about yourself here. I like to um, learn how to hula hoop. Info. So this is where you put in your card details. And then make sure that you have read the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. And once you're happy with all of those terms and conditions, then click this little button here to say that you agree to the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. And then it's a matter of submitting and checking out. Now, once the payment has been processed, you'll then enter your membership account where there's a video, of me welcoming you and giving you a little bit more instructions. If you scroll down, it tells you that you need to go and check your email because I will send you a welcome email. It's also a good idea to save my phone number to your phone because I do send SMS reminders before events. And if there's any uh, discounts on offer for events, then I'll also SMS them to you. My SMSs are not automated. I do actually sit down with the mobile in my hand, typing out text messages to people, which does take a long time. So if you decide that Organic Fusions isn't for you, please unsubscribe so that I won't spend time sending you reminders for events or invitations. And, and that will help me to save my time and also spend that time on the people who are interested in still receiving those invitations and updates. So also from this page, you can just see the confirmation of your details and these will be the options available to you once you have logged into the website. So from here, I can click on events and see the calendar. I can look in, into my account and see uh, maybe the tickets that I've purchased in the past. So we'll just click on there to have a quick look. So you can see your orders, your details. And if you ever need to cancel your account, uh, you can do so through membership account. Once you click on membership account, you can scroll down to, where is it? Cancel. So click on cancel there and that will cancel your um, membership and stop the billing. We're going to have a look at the events calendar now and I'll show you how to purchase a ticket. So welcome to the calendar of events. It just reminds you here that you do need to buy a ticket. Bookings are essential and all bookings are done online and that helps to keep the cost low. Uh, at this stage, you can only buy one ticket per person. So if you're a single person attending uh, an event and you want to go with a friend, they will also need to make an account and purchase a ticket themselves. 
browse event listings below so you can scroll down, see all the upcoming events. There's the option to click to see different views. So at this stage, you can see all the different photos of upcoming events. You can also look in the monthly view, uh, which will give you a calendar for the, the next month and it will show you where the events are situated, what days of the week. Uh, and you can also look by map. So if you're in Melbourne CBD and you're just interested in going to events in the Melbourne CBD, then if you click on the map, it'll bring up uh, something like this and you'll be able to see that a majority of the events at this stage are situated around Melbourne CBD. So we're just gonna go back to photo view and we're going to look at purchasing a ticket for a free meet and greet event. So it will be clearly marked, the, all the free events on the calendar are clearly marked as a meet and greet first free event. So if it's your first time attending an event and you go to one of these meet and greet events, then it works out to be free for you. So you do buy a ticket to confirm your spot at the event. And then when you attend the event, you get your $20 back, which is the cover charge. And you get that $20 back in the form of a $20 voucher, which is all explained in the event description. I'll just go back. So if you're interested in finding out more details about any of these events, you need to click on the heading of the event. So I think you can also actually click on the picture. So click on the picture or the heading of the event and that will take you into the event description. So as I said, we're going to have a look at purchasing a ticket for a free meet and greet event. So the next one on this calendar is a dinner event in Ringwood. So we go into the event description. It tells you the date and the time and the cost of a ticket. Uh, you can see a little picture example. It explains here about uh, what to expect. It tells you what's included in your ticket, what time to arrive. Usually for events, I plan icebreakers, which help to get the conversation started. So for this particular event, people will be preparing two truths and one lie about themselves, and they will share those stories at the event at the beginning. And we always hear some funny stories and, and the stories generally turn into more fuller conversations. Then it explains that we'll be having dinner. Uh, you will need to order and pay for your own meal at this particular event. Then it tells you more about what's included in the ticket price. Uh, if any of the events say that the tickets are out of stock, then it's important if you want to attend that event to let me know by sending me a email. Then if we scroll down further, I give you some hints for starting conversations with people that you meet at events. So for this one, you could ask people, are they from Melbourne? Have they booked into another event? What else did they get up to during the week? Are they planning to go to any other events? How far did they have to travel to arrive at the event? You know, just basic questions to help you start conversations. Then as we go down a little bit further, quite often people don't know the best way to exchange their details with each other at events. So I always encourage people to offer their details at events. Um, so this is a, a soft rule with organic fusions. So quite often people contact me after the event and say, oh, well, can you pass my details on to such and such because I'd like to keep in contact with them. Now that would create a lot of work if I was to pass everyone's details on to everyone else who they met at events. So I'd avoid doing that by encouraging everyone who attends events to share their details with the people who they connected well with. There shouldn't be any awkward moments if you have connected well with someone. Simply give them your details. So you could say, I enjoyed our little chat here's my number and, and give them like your business card or write your name and number on a piece of paper. Just let them know like, I'd like to catch up with you again at another time. Don't put too much meaning on handing your number out because after all, everyone is there to make some friends and to connect with other people. So guys give guys their number, girls give girls their number, guys give girls their number and girls give guys their number. Yeah, just know that it's very normal to give out your number, um, but do avoid 
asking people for their number because some people might not want to give their number um, and then it makes them feel a little bit uncomfortable saying no. Nobody likes to say no. So give your number and if you receive a number from someone, then receive it with grace. So say thank you, even if you don't want their number, you can dispose of it after the event if that's what you want to do. But just know that they've had to muster up a lot of courage to give their details to you. So try to make sure that they don't feel too awkward about doing that. Um, there's also some other information here about age brackets and how many people might attend an event. I always try to make sure I have a minimum of three females and three males at events. If I don't get that minimum number, you will be notified and I do give a full refund if that minimum number isn't met. We've got details again here of how much it is, the date, where it's located, the phone number of the venue, and then we come to the ticket section at the very bottom. So yeah, have a look through all the details above before you buy your ticket so that you know what to expect because sometimes people come to events and they have one thing in mind for how, how the night is going to go and when it's slightly different, it kind of throws them out and it could lead to disappointment. So make sure you read all of the details before purchasing your ticket. So there's generally a couple of options. So in this example, I'm going to choose one female a ticket and add it to the cart. You'll see at this stage that there's an option here for inserting a coupon code. So occasionally I will send out an SMS or I'll do a social media post or I'll send an email with a coupon code. And usually that coupon code is for people to get maybe 50% off their first ticket purchase. So that would be the space where you enter the code and you apply the coupon um, to get whatever discount it is that you're entitled to. Quite often they'll have expiry dates as well. So make sure that you use your coupon code before it expires. Again, I can just check the details here. So I've got one ticket to this particular event and it's gonna cost $20. So I can proceed to the checkout and then I will need to put in my credit card details to confirm my reservation for this particular event. Again, I have to type in my details to reserve this ticket under my name. It's just summarizing my order and this is where I need to put in my credit card details. Or you can also pay by PayPal if you don't have a MasterCard, a Visa card, or an American Express. Uh, and so with PayPal, you can do like a, a transfer. Once you've entered in your correct details, you can click on place order and make sure you're comfortable with the terms and conditions. So place order. So this is the confirmation page. So once your payment has gone through, you will see this video here where I explain about your ticket. And there's a little bit more information here about finding your ticket, because quite often the ticket likes to hide in your spam or your junk folder. The ticket will actually come from a different email address to what I normally use. I think the email address is tickets at organicfusions.com.au. If you don't receive that email within 24 hours, then you can just send me an SMS and I can resend that for you. But do make sure that you've checked your spam and your junk folder first before you request me to resend those, please. There's no need to print your ticket unless I specifically tell you to. And please make sure that you arrive on time to events. If you're late, I don't actually have the ability to be sending SMSs or answering phone calls and giving directions to people because I'll be hosting the event and introducing people to each other. And if you're late, that just kind of makes the event beginning a little bit disjointed. So please make sure that you arrive on time and then everyone will enjoy the experience a whole lot more. Again, if you haven't saved my number in your phone, please do so. Uh, my number 0414030774. You can save it as Sarah Organic Fusions. As I said earlier, you will be notified 48 hours uh, roughly before an event if I haven't met the minimum numbers. And I usually give people the option to wait another 24 hours or so to see if I can encourage some more people to come along to the event. But 
sometimes uh, the weather's just not good and we need to cancel. And if I do need to cancel an event, which rarely happens, you will get a full refund. Or we can just postpone the event to a future date that suits everyone. Again, check the terms and get conditions so that you know what to do if you can't make it to the event. So it is important to give me enough notice if you can't attend an event to get a full refund. And yeah, from this page, you can uh, go back to the events calendar if you wanna have a look at that, or you can log out. So I'm gonna go back to the events calendar just to show you that you can type in the date here if you're interested in, like if you've only got one particular date in mind that you're available coming up, then you can click that and see what events might be happening on that night. For the 31st of October, we had or have a Halloween pump pumpkin carving party coming up. I find pumpkin a difficult word to say, just like brewer, brewery, brewery. Or you can type in keywords. So I might be interested in just the singles only events. So we might see what comes up for singles only events. Um, so I haven't tagged very many events with singles only. And one other thing which you might notice on the calendar is that there are some, where have we got? Cosmopolitan singles events listed on the calendar. These events are specifically for singles who have registered to be a Cosmopolitan single. So that is another type of membership. So if you are clicking on these events and you come to this page, then that just means that you aren't a Cosmopolitan single. And if you would like information about that event, or if you would like to attend that event, then you would need to upgrade to a Cosmopolitan singles membership. So at this stage, the Cosmopolitan singles membership is by invite only. So if you're interested in being a Cosmopolitan single, uh, simply register your interest and I'll give you a call and we can talk and find out if this is a suitable membership option for yourself. Um, so that should help you now to create your own account and to purchase a ticket. Uh, if you've got any more questions, please scroll down to the bottom of my website. You can click on the FAQs link and via this link, you will be able to find a whole bunch of answers and questions that have been asked by people before. So if your question is relative to tickets, then you can just look at the little bracket at the beginning and that will help you to sort through all of these questions and answers. All right, this is a pretty long video. Hope you made it all the way through. Feel free to send me an email or send me an SMS or give me a call uh, once you've uh, watched this video and been through this list of FAQs and I'd be happy to help you. Okay, see you soon. Bye.